there, and look there here. Welcome back to Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. First off, I'd like to apologize for the lack of videos. Just have not had enough time to record the past few days, but we're back. So don't worry, not going anywhere. Hopefully. But yeah, that's where I've been, so let's continue on with the Namek arc. Previously, the team manages to force Vegeta's retreat, but it's too late. Many of their friends have died, and with Piccolo and Kami gone, so too are Earth's Dragon Balls. The group decides to stake their hopes on a journey to the planet Namek that Vegeta mentioned to obtain new Dragon Balls. With Goku recovering in the hospital, Krillin, Bulma, and Gohan set off on their journey through space. Alright, I'd say that was a pretty good recap there. Let's continue on with the story. Okay, let's do this thing! God, I still think this is such a cool, like, transition from the, uh character episode select screen to the episode itself it's just so cool all right we got gohan and krillin what are we doing here about one month after the group set off on their journey goku receives an sos from planet namek with the help of yajirobe sensu beans goku now fully recovered boards the spaceship that bulma's father has prepared for him and sets off for planet namek on the spaceship Goku continues his training. Before arriving on Planet Namek, he manages to break through every limit to attain greater power than he's ever known. Frieza, Emperor of the Universe, makes his appearance on Planet Namek in search of the Dragon Balls. A newly recovered Vegeta also arrives, hoping to lay his hands on the very same Dragon Balls. The Saiyans are a true warrior race. Don't <laughs> yeah, the Saiyan pride. Take that. Crap, I forgot his name. Zabra, I think? No, no, that doesn't sound right. Vegeta may have taken out the Emperor's underlings, but Frieza soon calls in his elite team of fighters, the Ginyu Force. In response, Vegeta teams up with Krillin and the others, but even still, their fight with the Ginyu Force is no cakewalk. Goku arrives in the nick of time, ready to show off the results of his training. Yeah, kick his ass, Goku. Kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so stupid. I'm not gonna lie. Raccoon was one of my favorites during Dragon Ball Budokai 2, just because of how stupid he was. Woo, okay. We're gonna pretty much Sorry, instantly kill Raccoon. Wide open, so I sounds good, sounds good. It. He is kind of, I'm not gonna lie, he was a uh, very tough boss uh, back in Budokai 2. You little punk. <laughs> I can't take it seriously. I just cannot take him seriously. Yep. Pretty much out Look, like a light. You've got a choice to make here. Either get off this planet and go home, or you're gonna wind up like your friend here. Did you hear that, Bertha? This jolt knocks out Raccoon with a lucky shot, and suddenly he's dishing out threats to the likes of us. Yeah, I'm gonna be sending threats to you guys regardless, cause you, you guys are puny, weaklings, slow. Although I will say, just thinking back to the anime where Goku just confused the hell out of them and scared them was diabolical. Like, I love when Goku goes, you know what? I'm way stronger than you. I don't need, I don't need to do anything but toy with you guys. And like, it's so funny because he just absolute mollywops everyone like that. Ah, oh, I thought he was gonna block that. All right, that's all right. Woo, okay, taking a little damage. There we go. Woo. That was a low rate. Goku, you good? <laughs> I thought for a second there he was just flowing in the air, just laying on his back. Just all right. Gonna take a quick power nap. Oh crap. Okay, that was a bit close there. We're gonna just gonna do something like this. Dragon Rush. Or a Kaoken boost. Come on, come on. Blast his ass! Damn it. You know what? I'll take it. I saw him laying there, just ready to be tucked in. I decided, you know what? Let's give him a blanket. Oh. Oh, he took me. He took me. Woo! Close. But no cigar. No cigar. There we go! Take that, Jeez. Oh, I thought we were going to be fighting Birder next. Well, that's alright. Guess we're going to continue moving forward here. I will admit, I have been playing a little bit of the training mode just to get a little bit better here, because I... 
I was sucking, I'm not gonna lie. Goku swiftly overpowers the two members of the Ginyu Force. Another manages to escape, but Goku has more than demonstrated the fruits of his training. He hears about the Dragon Balls from Gohan and the others, but before they can take action, Goku senses a strong key headed in the direction of Guru. Goku tells the others to head straight for the Dragon Balls while he readies himself one more. It's time for him to put an end to Captain Ginyu. So, this is the guy, huh? His power level's only around 5,000. Joke's on you, I can That's mask my Jackie. power level. Don't be fooled. This freak's way stronger than that. He must be capable of boosting his strength in the midst of combat. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. 60,000? But that can't be. This guy's just a puny Saiyan. It's not unheard of. He could have a natural talent. Or perhaps his abilities have been amplified by a mutation like us. Either way, this battle's sure to be interesting. To think I'd find an opponent that I can oh, find. Yeah, we can go in first person. Full power on. <laughs> Look how tiny he is. He's so small. So, are we gonna dance or fight? I feel like we should dance. I think a nice, like, nutcracker ballet should do it. Man, I can't believe Vegeta left us alone here. Like, come on. Could have used some help, but you know what? That's all right. Oh, crap. Get him all he wants. No, 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 no. Get out of here, Goku. Thank you. Woo. Did not like that. Not gonna lie. Look at that. Kicking his ass. I don't think the difficulty should be lowered. I'm gonna have to check. I feel like I may have accidentally lowered the difficulty. And if that's the case, I kind of want to redo this. Because that was way too easy. It could not be that easy. <laughs> Your strength is unbelievable. Yeah, I think I'll take it. What do you mean by that? Yeah, so this dialogue option right here, we're going to just back out just before it finishes. And then we're going to see what the difficulty is on, because that was way too easy. There's no way it should have been that easy, especially with like the previous characters we fought just completely curb stomping me before. No, I guess we were on the highest difficulty. That's weird. That is weird. Okay, then. Um, I guess let's continue forward. I I swear, it should not have been that easy. Oh, I might have to defeat Captain Genyu once more. You know what? It was easy once before. I can do it again. Hello, Genyu. Goodbye, Vegeta. Okay, we're just kind of messing all my heads there. Okay, there we go. Now we're actually having somewhat of a challenge. That's so weird. You know what's crazy to me? Those, like, TikTok videos of people painting, like, Dragon Ball action figures into the style, like, the anime slash manga. And it's just so crazy how they do it. Because it looks so good. I'm going to show, like, a small video or, like, a picture of it. Of how insane these people are when it comes to making the action figures look really good. Change now! Makes sense. Captain Ginyu takes over our body. Suddenly, Captain Ginyu begins circling, then he lets out a deafening scream. In doing so, he triggers a technique that enables him to switch bodies with Goku. Now in control of Goku's body, Captain Ginyu heads back to his spaceship with his subordinates. Goku makes a desperate chase after them, but is hindered, trapped in Captain Ginyu's injured body. Guys, listen! That's not me, it's Ginyu! Using my body! The others arrive to find Goku battling his own body. Unknown to everyone, Vegeta has plans for Ginyu. But first... Ooh, am I gonna fight Goku as Captain Ginyu? No. Okay. Uh, seeing that Birder has lost his will to fight, Vegeta ruthlessly, ruthlessly puts an end to his life. Vegeta, why? They couldn't even defend themselves! Pfft. I don't care that they couldn't even defend them be uh, themselves. Yeah. Yeah, you tell him, Vegeta. After finishing off Birder, Vegeta shifts his attention to Ginyu, who has taken over Goku's body. Now it's time to finish the job! Ah! Ah! Now die! Fool! Change now! What? Oh no! Oh, I accidentally skipped that part right there. Uh, probably just Ginyu going, Oh no, he's changing into my body again and Goku going like haha now it's my time uh, Goku rushes to inter uh, intercept Ginyu's body change technique and is able to reclaim his own body uh bas yeah okay yeah you call him a bastard Captain Ginyu what the 
hell is going on? What does Kakarot think he's doing? I better swap with a fresh body and quick. Ah, uh, if anybody's a fan of the anime or manga, they already know what's going to happen what right here. Vegeta. Yep, there's the frog. There's the oh, beautiful frog. Nothing. <laughs> Suspecting Ginyu's plan, Goku throws a frog between the captain and Vegeta. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that is so close. stupid. That is so stupid. I love it. You see, that is truly the most dangerous Sparking Zero character, Frog Ginyu. Thwarted, Captain Ginyu is now trapped inside a frog, and Goku is saved. Goku is then put inside the medical machine to recover. However, he can sense Vegeta and the others fighting nearby. Now get ready. Oh no, not the alien form of Frieza. Oh no, he's gone to Ultra Frieza. Meanwhile, Vegeta and the others sense an immense power coming from their opponent, one that far exceeds their own. Just as he is marveling at Frieza's strength, Goku's treatment finishes and is fully healed. Try to hang on just a little bit longer. I'm on my way, guys. When Goku arrives at the raging battle, Vegeta is moments away from death at Frieza's hands. I, I'm begging you, please, beat him for me. For the pride of our race, you must defeat him. Alright, Dragon Ball, but when you watch it, you have to take a shot whenever Vegeta talks about his pride. Shit, you'd be wasted by like the, the uh, first two episodes. For you to beg me for my help. Kakarot, please! My pride is on the line! Do. I may have hated you when you were alive, but I always respected your pride. And now, it's time for me to share that pride. Pride in myself. Man, you gotta take like three shots already with that sentence alone. I am a Saiyan that was raised on planet Earth. And in the name of every single Saiyan that you've made suffer, for them and all the people of planet Namek too, I will defeat you! Alright, let's go fight Frieza. Should be a cakewalk. Just a simple cakewalk, you know? Oh, you, there goes Gohan, Piccolo, and, and Krillin. I swear, way. the Saiyan armor is the best armor for like anybody that wears it. I'm Go not gonna on, lie. On, hurry. Please don't die, Dad. Make Frieza pay for what he did. All right. Ooh. Okay. What is going on here? Oh, missed that one. Come on, hit back. Hit back. Teleport? There we go! Oh god, he's sending me back. I don't know if I've ever felt this excited about the prospect of a battle in my entire life. Now I only need to decide how I'll kill you. You think you can kill me? You think you can kill me? Nah, because I'm him. I'm him. Here I am. Yeah! Here I am, here I am. Alright, we're gonna fully charge up here, and then we're gonna kinda just charge straight in here. Oh, we're gonna... Okay, ooh. Ooh, kill him. Kill him. Wait, Kaioken? Oh, I was trying to do a command mei wave. That does not work. That does not work. Whoops. No, no, no. Ooh. Go! Oh, I was trying to block. Yeah, that, that may have hurt there. Come on. Oh, did not mean to do that. Nope. Okay, that. Might as just said, hey, kick me. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I was not expecting to actually kick him. <laughs> God, we need to start doing a lot better here. We need to start doing a lot better. Because we are getting our ass handed to us. Come on, come in, man, wave. Come me, hot me. Ah! Oh, that did not do anything, did it? Oh, God. Okay, come on. I can't wait. I can't wait. Yeah. Get some, uh, little bit of a boost here. Oh, crap. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna try this. We're gonna try this. Come on. Gonna do the command, man, wave. Command, man. Nope. Come on. Anytime. There we go. Boost that shit. Ah, oh, that did not do anything again. Wow. Oh god. Oh god. No. Ah, we were so close. I mean, not that close, but we were so close. Damn it. Okay. We got. We got it this time. We got it this time. I'll know. I know what to expect in the beginning here. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. 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 Ah, oh, we got. We got Molly Wop there a little bit. <laughs> Too slow. Oh! Woo, <laughs> too slow again! 
Wow, we are just comboing him. Let's go. No, he comboed me. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Get up. Get up. Get up. Go, go. No. That might hurt a little bit. Yeah, just, just a little bit. We're going to kind of give ourselves some boosts here. And then we're just going to Kamehameha this. There we go. Uh, didn't do too much, but I'll take it. We'll do it again. Why not? Oh god. Oh god, teleport. 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 Teleport or do something. Teleport or do something. Okay, that did a lot of damage there. Wow. Wait, did that do like all the... Oh, that did all the hell. Oh, we are gonna die. We're so dead. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Oh god. Oh my god, I let that hit me. I didn't even see that coming. Wow, I need to do better. I need to be blah 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 That's English right there. Uh, I need to do better. Wow. Yeah, grab him. Swing him. Bay blay, bay blay, let it rip. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna do a charge up. And we're gonna do this. Try to see if that hits. Doesn't seem to hit, but we can at least do this. Yep. And then teleport again. And we ride him like a skateboard down. Let's go. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. Blah, blah, blah. Ooh, took a little damage here. Not bad. Oh, God, we are doing this now. But easy, easy. I'm going to do actually a charge up here will probably be the best. And I can't wait. So that way we can get some defense and strength. There we go. Alright, so it seems like we're going to have to charge for a spirit bomb. So. Let's get this ready. I kind of want to combo him a little bit. And then Spirit Bomb. Yes. Share your energy. Share your energy. And then throw that shit. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. 99,999. That is a lot of damage right there. Ooh, look at those outfits too. I swear that was like the worst haircut for Gohan. Just having that like... Bowler haircut style. Oh my god. Disgusting. Goku's spirit bomb has finally brought an end to the long and hard fought battle. At least our heroes can rest. Or so they think. Until. No. It, it can't be. Freeze us alive! No. Please. Piccolo! R.I.P. to Piccolo. All that hard work for nothing. I nothing. Placing too much stock in your escape. Though if you like, I can bring you closer to home. <laughs> Trillin! No, Frieza! Don't do it! Go, go! Oh, look, it's 4th of July. Some fireworks. I think the brat should go next. You... You... Ruthless... Heartless... Bastard! Ah, uh, we need to see this, please. Ah... Uh, ah, uh, I thought we were gonna get a cooler transformation, I'm not gonna lie. But you know what? You know what? I'll take it. Still looks so good. It still looks so good. Do as I tell you right now! Before I lose what little sense of reason I have left! But yeah, I thought this was gonna be a lot more cinematic, but guess not, but it still works. It still works in my opinion. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. Just mwah. Overcome with pure rage at seeing Krillin die before his very eyes, Goku transforms into the legendary Super Saiyan. Once again, the trumpets of battle sound. Frieza, whose body can survive even the vacuum of space, has decided to launch an attack powerful enough to destroy planet Namek in its entirety. Our entirety. Yes, we have five minutes. Five minutes, guys. Five. With five minutes left until planet Namek's ex extinction, Frieza finally reaches... Oh, I didn't even get to read the final part there. His power is expanding even more than his muscles. Yes, guys. Five this minutes. Really totally not going to be like two and a half hours of them fighting. Out. Just five minutes. This is our one chance! 
It also may be the only chance I'll ever have to fight him. If he really is the strongest being in the whole universe, I need to see if I can beat him myself. What, what did you say? Don't listen to yourself. You're out of your mind. There's no point to this. Krillin can't be brought back to life with the Dragon Balls a second time. And I refuse to take the death of my best friend sitting down. Krillin was my best friend. You know, if there's one thing I can appreciate the Dragon Ball games for, it is the music. It just goes hard for no reason. Well, there's a reason, but for no reason, it's just so mm, beautiful. I just love it. Frieza, just know the only reason I'm letting you reach full power is because I want to beat you at your best. With no regrets for either one of us. I know you want the same thing. You're itching to see what your 100% full power is capable of. Otherwise, you would have blown up the whole planet by now. <laughs> All right, we're grilling. We're grilling. Kame, me. Then do you want to finish this? Beautiful. Oh my god, that is so beautiful. I don't think I can talk about how beautiful this game is, like, in its entirety. Just everything about this is just so beautiful. Like, again, the animators, artwork directors, everybody deserves just all the praise for how beautiful it is. You know what? Now I'm angry! Wait! Don't make that wish! To leave both Frieza and me behind. Ah, me, ah, me, ah. Serious, King Kai. You have to let me finish this battle with Frieza, or I'll never forgive you. All right, fine, you win, but you really better beat me. Don't make me regret this. Get ready to see my real strength. You know, I love the fact that Goku has this, like, yellow aura around him when he charges up as Super Saiyan form. It's just, oh, it's just a cherry on top. I love it. I love it all. But there you go. Frieza has been defeated. <laughs> oh, the irony. He who triumphs loses everything while the vanquished escapes. I hate to gloat, but there's a lesson here on the virtue of mercy. Its only value is to your foe. We'll see about that. I am Lord Frieza, the most powerful being in the universe. Which is why... Which is why... You must die by my hand! You fool! After a desperate struggle, Goku defeats Frieza. He tries to escape from the crumbling remains of Planet Namek, but the spaceship he's found is too damaged to be piloted. Luckily, he spies a paw piloted by the Ginyu Force, and with that, safely but narrowly escapes Planet Namek. Yet the pod is not headed for Earth. It is destined for Planet Yardrat, and Goku learns a new technique. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like everybody thought Goku died here. But there we go, Planet Namek arc has been completed. Now let's see, we have defeat Frieza with Spirit Bomb, or I guess we don't defeat him with one. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. Kind of interesting to see where that will lead. Uh, we have one right here where we defeat Jeez. Uh, what do we do here? Uh, I guess we have to defeat both Birder and Jeez. Not certain how we do that. Uh, and then I think this leads back to pretty much nothing over here. Let me see. Yeah, no, we go back to the Saiyan arc. Okay, so we have kind of two paths, three paths, something like that. Yeah, we have two paths. Okay, not bad. I thought this was going to be a little bit longer, but guess not. I know this will be a long one. This has to be a long one. I can't wait to get to the cell arc, but 
that would be just for a little bit later. I do want to see what we can do now-wise. Uh, I know we can summon Shenron and Super Shenron. That's because I bought the Ultimate Edition, but not right now. I want to see what we can, like, buy, I guess, with our shop here. Uh, let's see. Shop and customize. Alright, let's see what we can buy here. We got some capsules that we can buy right now. Could be useful. Not right now, though. Not right now. But this right here. I think this is what we're gonna go for. Buy some characters. Who do we want? Who do we want? I'm saying Goku, well, Super Ultra Instinct, that would probably be a good one to get. And in future Gohan, I've seen so many TikToks of him, and he's just... Ah, oh, I want to give him a hug, man. It's just so sad on his story. Well, let's see. Bardock. Oh, we got by Bardock. Bardock is, like, my favorite character out of everyone in Dragon Ball. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, anyone else? Mm, not really. Android 13, know, know. that's really decisions, funny. Just decisions. the whole, don't you dare lecture me with your $13 haircut, boy. Or not 13, uh, $30, something like that. Yeah, no, I don't think there's really much characters I want to buy now, so I'll hold on to it for now. What can we get, though? We got some outfits we can buy. Uh, Kid Gohan, Teen Gohan, makes sense, even though he's not a teen, he's like nine years old in this image. We have the Great Saiyan Man, Protector of Light. I love how there's like zero difference between Piccolo and Piccolo Fuse Economy. I know it's like a strength thing for uh, Budokai Tenkaichi games, but it's just still, it's super funny, it's just Piccolo. Oh, we gotta get the Bardock skin though, gotta buy that. Uh, man, they have Jackie Chan? Kind of weird that they labeled it underneath Master Roshi. I mean, he's clearly not Master Roshi. But that seems to be it for the outfits. Uh, let's see. What do we got voices-wise? Uh, got some voiceovers. Not bad. But I don't think I'm gonna worry much about this. I don't know exactly what it's used for. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna continue forward here. We got music. Hang on. We need to see what we got here. Anything interesting? Great eight. Huh. What's this? Okay, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna- I'm actually gonna purchase that. Okay, so this is training stuff. That's pretty cool. And then we have the player cards. I still- I don't know. I don't know what I want to go with. I think overall, I'll just stick with what I got right now. And then we'll go for something well, cool later on. But for now, I don't know. Not really gonna worry about it. But alright, yeah. I think that will be it. <laughs> hey on, hey on. Did you guys just see that? Just watch yeah, Master Roshi. Watch the magazine he has. Just... <laughs> uh, oh my god. Anyway, I think that'll be pretty much it for this episode. Uh, next episode, I do want to start getting into like actual battling other people. So, we'll do that next episode. But for now, that'll be it for this one. If you guys still like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Without the way, this has been Little 20 signing out. Bye-bye.